Simon, you're breaking formation. Fall back. I don't have time for this. I'm going in. Wait, Viola! You can't just run off alone! Bingo! The enemy fell right into my trap. Whoops. Blew up some friendlies, too. Oh, well. Oh. My. God. Simon, Viola, Emmy. Do you know why I called you here? Well, the mission was a success, so we're getting a raise? Yeah, no. In fact, it's literally the opposite. You're in real hot water here. Breaking rank, disobeying direct orders, friendly fire. And this isn't your first warning, either. Honestly, I'm having trouble finding a reason not to discharge you. That's why I'm balling a rehabilitation program. Rehab? Isn't that what the brass calls mock combat? That's right. I'll prep a fire team for you to spar against. I want you to focus on working as teammates. Yeah! Cut the power of teamwork, BS! I just want to go buck wild! Fine by me. Anyway, slice it. A fight's a fight. I don't suppose we're getting paid, huh? Then can we just get it over with? You can take this seriously, or you can pack your bags. Your call. Hey, Viola. You're good in a fight. How about you do the heavy lifting and take care of this on your own? The strong don't take orders from the weak, and I'm no babysitter. Hear that, Simon? She called you a baby, because she sure didn't mean me. You gonna let her get away with that? Uh, why, yes. I suppose I shall. What the hell's wrong with you? Well, uh, I tend to get a teensy bit nervous when I'm alone with women. Oh, but please don't fret on my account. I'll give it the old college try. Ugh, maybe I should start packing my bags now. I finally get to talk about squad stories, which have pretty much the same sort of function as the DLC missions in the first Valkyria Chronicles, only you can actually unlock new potentials for each of your um, squad members. And you have to fulfill, I think you have to use your CP about 10 times or so in order to do so. I've used it enough with both Viola and Emmy in order to unlock this one. So yeah. And there'll also be one in the next episode with Olad, the uh, thing. The downside is we can only use these characters in this one, but I'll go into more detail once we get into the mission, because there's quite a bit of story in this one as well. yippee ki -yay! Time to spray and pray! Speak for yourself. I'm not gonna pick up your slack. Whatever. As long as it helps us win, you do you. The uh, characters we have are Viola, Emmy, and Simon. Viola, we've already seen, um, also with Emmy. Um, uh, Simon is not great with women, but apparently he sees himself as some sort of wannabe Bruce Willis or something. Uh, yeah, seriously. He just didn't see a melon farmer. And yes, I'm saying that on oh, oh, motherfucker. I'm not sure if I can say that on YouTube, but yeah. Seriously. Um, but that being said, yeah, uh, Viola is the one who hates authority. Emmy seems to go on about money. I'm going to find out why finally in this episode. Don't why, don't why she goes on about money, but we will find what I do know, but I don't want to spoil things, if you know what I mean. So, yeah. This mission honestly isn't too hard, actually. Um, even that. Um, seriously. Some of the later ones are a bit harder, but nothing too bad. There's nothing like the DLC in the thing, but it serves the sort of, same sort of purpose in terms of story, at least. And yes, there is um, a mission involving, uh, I think, um, um, believe it or not, Edie. Yes. Speaking of DLC, because she had a big DLC in the original game as well, because was, apparently she was quite popular in Japan with Edie. Eat lead! Yeah! Let me hear you cry for mommy! Oh, baby, I love shooting stuff! If 
only those Federation sons of bitches could see me now! What's that even mean? You got beef with the people cutting your paycheck? Huh? Uh, uh, not at all. You see, I, I used to be a highwayman. Sort of a, a, a bandit. I was just running around with a hand axe uh, until I tried robbing a Federation truck and got arrested at gunpoint. That's the dumbest thing I ever heard. <laughs> uh, yeah. And that's how I joined the army. For the guns. Oh, look! More meat sacks! Bite my bullets! Some of Simon's quotes are insane, and that's why I like, like his quotes, seriously, even though I don't use him that much outside of this one. Yeah, meat sacks! <laughs> anyway, that being said, uh, yeah, all we have to do is get to the uh, enemy base, nothing too hard at all. The only thing is that this mode is actually interrupted by, um, of course, uh, various things, so yeah. Quips. I don't know if I can call it quips or anything like that, but uh, yeah, I might go with that. Anyway, that being said, um, what do we have here? Well, I have um, Emmy, so let's use her. Um, as I say, oh, she's still quite panicky. That is one, uh, I guess, I don't know if I can call it a potential or not, uh, drawback to her that she does still keep. Um, but, um, um, we'll get to that. That's quite far away. As I say, I can't bolster my squad that much because there's no base camp in this mission. That might well change. I don't know if that does change, actually, but we'll see. Uh, so let's send in Viola. And, um, have her do we? Um, well, that one's crowd. Oh, no, he's not crouching. I thought he was. Shoot him, and there we go. Okay, so that's that. There are, let's see, there's a scout, and what else? And a trooper there. Okay, well, let's send in Mr. Meat Sacks. Um, yeah, not great with women. Yeah, okay, maybe he's, maybe he is a bit more closer to John McClane than I thought. Certainly. Given Die Hard with a Vengeance, I've not seen the other two Die Hard films, so yeah. Time to make some money. Anyway, that being said, let's head um, into the next area and where we will see another guy shooting me. It's probably that trooper. Yes, it is the trooper. So yeah. Um, apparently they are emboldened. Seriously. I can't say much about this. Seriously, there aren't that many. The stakes are not that big. Though it does. There's a story and everything. So let's see. Are there any more soldiers? There probably are. But we can't see them on the map. So let's send Simon in to take care of this one. So, um. That was on the makeshift bridge there. So shoot him. I, I do actually like the water flowing thing. That was a. Nice touch. Now we have enemy reinforcements. Hooray! I am not getting paid enough for this. I'm not getting paid at all. Emmy, get down now! That was friggin' close. Pay attention, you dipshit. <clears throat> I, I mean, uh, perhaps it would be wise to exercise caution, my lady. What are you doing? I didn't ask for your help. <laughs> you let your guard down. They knew you were weak. Why, I oughta... Viola, behind you! What? Well, well, well. Who's the weakling now? Now, that was just a fluke. A freak accident. We made it through the first wave, but barely. If this keeps up, we're SOL. Come on, you sons of bitches! I mean, um, if you ladies don't mind, could we please cooperate with one another? Come on, give me a freaking hand here! I'd say no, but I really hate being in debt, so... All right, you save me, I'll save you. But after this, we're even. 
All right, you win. Let's team up for now. What do we have in terms of reinforcements here? Um, well, we can see some, but we, I'm still playing with uh, Simon here, so yeah. Okay, so on the map, mostly so, uh, mostly um, scouts and troopers. With the exception of one grenadier over there, that's gonna make uh, the fight a little bit tougher. And I'm going the wrong way. Seriously. Or maybe I'm not. Now let's go to the other end and do that. As for where the um, thing is, well, it looks like they're on the other side, so we'd have to um, either go up that way uh, to the left and um, follow the way to the um, um, grenadier on that side. Although there are some shelters, at least, that will protect us from the grenadier's mortar fire, so that's at least something, right? So, uh, yeah. So, two troopers there. Oh, and they also have a sniper! Great! Just freaking great! Okay, so, um, let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna send Mr. Meat Sacks in. Yeah, I'm gonna have to have you go around there, uh, Simon. Well, there doesn't seem to be any way around. He even has a freaking mohawk. Okay, John McLean never had a mo mohawk, seriously. So yeah, maybe a cross between other action styles, I don't know. But you be kind of, yeah, I cannot not think uh, John McLean, seriously. Um, anyway, that being said, um, um, he didn't really yell, you be kind of, did um, uh, Bruce Willis. So. Anyway, that being said, yeah, you joke there, I think. I will give it. I will give my sol uh, the soldiers of Squad E uh, this. They are better at dodging than uh, Squad Seven was. Oh boy, that guy's really going in for it. There's another uh, scout there, I guess. So that makes some sense. Yeah, they're, they're going straight for me, aren't they? <laughs> Seriously. Okay, so. Well, um, that guy's a scout, so you know what to do there, um, being filling full of lead. Seriously. Okay, and what about the other soldiers? Well, there's troopers coming, so, yeah, um, surprisingly the... I'm surprised that uh, you didn't do anything there, both Viola and Simon. What the hell? And yeah, interception fire is a thing. With troopers, don't even say that. So, yeah. Okay, so... Yeah, I'll send you in, uh, uh, Emmy. So let's get into there, and, um... Then, um, we could do a... Okay, no, not close enough for a team attack. Oh, well, um, scouts. Well, I can get a bit closer, right? Yeah, of course I can. Okay, what the hell? Okay, that should have done more damage. I don't care what you say again. That should have done more damage. What the hell, game? What the hell? Okay, so shall we against the scout? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Uh, okay, Viola, show them how it's done. Welcome to the gun show. Yeah, seriously. Uh, so, shoot him. And then... Um, I guess I will go this way, straight to uh, the Grenadier, or oh, where the Grenadier is. That's not a Grenadier. That's just. Uh, well, I'm not sure. I think it, uh, I can't see because um, uh, Viola's icon is blocking the way. So that's another trooper. No, well, that one goes down easy. So we're at close range. Okay, so there is another trooper. There, he's crouching. Uh, the Grenadier is far off to the left there, so uh, I don't know if I'll send... Uh, uh, if we're going to do this true superpower of teamwork, we're going to do the true superpower of teamwork. Um, I'm going to lob a grenade at him. Check, please. Hope he doesn't kill um, either Viola or Emmy. Okay, there we go. Still the uh, both that sniper and the grenadier to deal with. So yeah, 
Who's the soldiers up there? They're gonna go come, come running for my ass, probably. And you're not in the great, pos greatest position there, uh, Emmy. Seriously. You're facing the other way. Which is not good when you're dealing with a sniper. Um, okay, let's send Mr. Meat Sax. Get up there, you... Um, I'm sure we'll... Look, trying to be a badass, but... And the oops. Also being a gentleman, which... Really confusing. Yeah Hell yeah! That's freaking teamwork! Sure, but how much longer is this mock battle gonna go on? Cool your heels. We just turn the tables on them. Only chumps work for nothing. It's all about that dough. Is cold hard cash the only thing that matters to you? God, that's pathetic. Huh. I take it you've never been poor. Money makes the world go round. If my mom's ever gonna get better, she'll need it. Your mother's sick? Wait, so that means all this time you've been fighting to support your family? Oh, Abby. Never mind. Forget I said anything. <laughs> family. Stop, Viola. Don't start doing a Vin Diesel impression. Anyway, that being said, let's get up here and, um, um, psh, uh, shoot them. Seriously. So, yeah, that's why Emmy's been mentioning Molly all the time. She's, uh, uh, poor. And she's trying to help her family, which this is one of the most charitable things I've, I've heard of in the video game. Anyway, that being said, uh, still two soldiers over here, so a trooper, and I don't know what the other one is because I didn't lock. So they're out. Again, so that leaves the Grenadier, and I don't know if I got the Sniper either. If I did, then fine! Um, okay, yeah, and there are also two, I'm gonna guess Gatling guns because anti-tank cannons would probably still work, but... More than likely, in this situation, it will be Gatling guns. So yeah, and from here, that's not a good idea to attack them from there. Okay, so I'm just gonna end Emmy's turn, and then, well, um, I can send oh, a soldier over there. So, um, who's, uh, actually, no, I'm not gonna do it. So yeah, so let's see what the enemy does. Do they shoot me with their Gatling guns? No, because I'm too far away, apparently. It's weird, I thought machine guns could reach that far, but apparently not in video games. So, that being said, let's send you in, uh, Emmy. Yeah, I know you're panicky and the Grenadier got you, but come on, man. Da 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 da! Etc., etc. Keep it together, you two. We're not out of rehab yet. You're still going? God, were you like this as a kid? I can't even imagine what your parents are like. My parents are dead. Oh. My mother was killed by Imperials. And my father lived only to avenge her. In the end, he got his revenge. But he died getting it, leaving me an orphan. All they left me with was a gun and the training to use it. So I'm sorry for what I said back there. If your parents are still alive, better take good care of them. I don't know what to say. <laughs> I had no idea you ladies would come through such hardships. And I had no idea you were such a crybaby. Hey, I've had my own share of troubles. Like, um, you know. Oh, I may be an axe crazy gun nut, but I've never laid a finger on a girl. Isn't that because you're scared of them? Maybe. <laughs> it's funny. Talking to you losers makes all my problems seem so small. Well, um, let's, uh, I don't know if I have enough power. Okay, I can use a gun on these guys, so let's do that. So, killing the uh, Gatling guys from behind, honestly a good idea. And there's still that great idea to deal with as well. Seriously, so, do I move Emmy? To the next one, which is like only short distance. Yes, I do, because that'll save me some trouble. And 
again, it's still the problem of the um, thing, but never mind. Shoot him in the back! And then that leaves the, of course, the. Um, and there's a crouch, and then the turn. And then I can uh, deal with the grenadier, so. Let's see. Yeah, you do it, Viola. Why not? Welcome to the gun show. Although I thought that um, uh, um, Simon would be more into guns than Viola, but never mind. Let's shoot him. And there we go. And now for some redemption. That should be the last of them. This mock battle is as good as one. You two aren't half bad in a pinch. Ever consider bounty hunting? Ah, damn, that was fun! We're the best! All right, you're done with the rehabilitation program. So, how'd it go? Did you learn to work together as a team? I learned my lesson! Three gunners are better than one! Yeah, it actually wasn't all that bad. Aside from you two stealing my kills, I agree. Good. I'm glad we could work this out. By the way, Claude, you really earned my respect out there. That was you commanding the other fire team, wasn't it? Even I couldn't break through your defenses, and that's saying something. Sorry I didn't respect your authority before. From now on, when you tell me to jump, I'll ask how high. Thanks. I'm glad to hear it. You all seem to have learned your lesson, so I don't want to beat a dead horse. But hear me out. In real combat, your squad mates are... Yeah, yeah! Power of teamwork! We get it already! When it comes to going buck wild on the battlefield, the more the merrier! Yahoo! What? I'll start working with my mates, not against them. Especially if they make as good a meat shield as Simon. Did I say that out loud? Thank you for giving us a second chance, sir. As long as I agree with your orders, I'll follow them. We've got company, Claude! An Imperial ambush! yippee ki -yay! Time to spray and pray! Yaha! Hey! No stealing my glory! I'll take point, got it? Take point? But we haven't even been deployed! You can wait around for orders all you want. I'll finish the fight before you can say yes, sir! Wait, Viola, you can't just run off! Now that I think about it... The Empire's got a bigger war budget than the Federation. I wonder how much they'd pay me to defect. Hemi, how can you even say that? <laughs> kidding. Just kidding. Um... Claude? You put them through rehab, didn't you? Is that what you call rehabilitated? Yeah, they'll be fine. Probably. 